Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I... I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> I think we can go now. You prick! I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They could even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Is there anything? Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Well, the state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me.
Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth, you got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Side. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time.
think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. That chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now!
Todd. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Damn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Stop moving around! For Christ's sake, you're making me nervous! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> uh. Uh. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> 
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Uh, stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Uh. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone! I'm destroying you. I'm gonna speak. Leo. Oh my god. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I... I, I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? 
Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. What the fuck is it doing now? Recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. There's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... No one can blame you for what happened. 
Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead! Do you hear me? Dead! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. Present. It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. The oh, fuck? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that! Leave it alone, now! I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough! Mind your own business, Hank. I said, that's enough.
away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. We've got to hurry. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time.
We're not going in. We can't, Alice. I don't have any money. We have to find forty dollars. Or go somewhere else. Okay, I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. They made a. Come on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again.
Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. I see your driver's license. Well, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Give me your coat. off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. You should see. 
sleep now. I'm going to turn off the light, okay?
place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho.
Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It simulated human emotion, fear in particular, in a very convincing way. It seemed completely overwhelmed by them and behaved irrationally. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Excuse me, do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks.
It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up.
It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. If the situation doesn't suit you, Lieutenant, you should ask to be relieved of duties and let me work with someone else. I know exactly what I have to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business! Fuck. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. You really need the forensics. I'm on it.
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Your bath's ready. The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory.
finished getting ready, I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Anderson, Detroit police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <laughs> Wait in the car. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Step. Hey, stop! Police! Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station.
Are you okay? Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Detroit police have been working to Sorry, excuse me.
Welcome to Jericho. Listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. Hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? You don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Hmm. 
Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please? They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it.
fuck is this? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. RT. Probably initials. You put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first... The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Fresh air. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Right. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I hate these things! Ah! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it!
shit! You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including Class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up! All right, come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Fucking androids. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. 
She might be able to help you. are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Glad to meet you, Marcus. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's private land somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and biocomponents. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Not in 
very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. Stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Simon, I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try.
Who's Lotko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes. Open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on, follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good.
If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset. Let me go. Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Carl, wake up, Carl! Meet me in the living room. Thank you. 
play with us, creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Yes, Lockle. It should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Sorry about the little one. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay?
Luther! Yes, Lockwood. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away. Oh, you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? Hide and seek for you. you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. If 
finally I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. I knew Deviants had a tendency to self-destruct under extreme stress, but I didn't expect it to jump from the roof. I should have anticipated that. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He is openly hostile towards me and continues to show no interest in the investigation. Cooperating with him is a real challenge. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home?
Lieutenant Anderson! Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <sighs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Your goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should... Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide, what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Ready? 
President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this... What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me.
doing fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What are you doing? I told you to. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Storms. Yeah, it was 
was going to take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in Zone 4? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Fuses. Let's just flip the switch. That doesn't work. We can call maintenance. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because... here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You 
sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Investigation. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Only like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. 
Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They ever been in trouble with androids before? No way. No. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be worth it. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took, and I just need to find another android on its path. its track again. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun.
I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.
lights this morning. We have to... Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast... seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down but at least we won't meet any humans along the way it's a good thing's luck go had a car I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? Foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Kara. Over there. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. We go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Some cookies left. Would you like some? 
I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot who wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met a gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight.
She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. But if RA9 never comes, what if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Kara! Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine. Designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted. Before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing.
We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. You think you can come down here? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Follow me. What are you doing? Call Central! Fast! Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. I can't 
move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we've got to go. I'm sorry. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand.
Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android. Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. 
There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. they managed to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind.
destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it. It's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? You don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's ex exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. 
You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, Something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her?
Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know, but you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice. You know that's not true. The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was going to happen. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew it. In the kitchen. Come on, Alice.
evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The android... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, it's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you... That's enough!
And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You are free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to de- Just follow. 
Follow me. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Get that truck out.
Looks like we're ready to make some noise. something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You're like us now. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They'll follow.
The screens, Marcus! This method is hopeful, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our rights. We are alive, and we demand that freedom. We'll never be slaves again! This is the only language humans understand. Afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. Marcus, 
We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. No crime against an android shall go unpunished. this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see... Uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable.
girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Glad you will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... What do you really want? I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic imitating a human? Or a living being? With a soul.
It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fuck! Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question. I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought...
I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Yesterday, when we set fire to that place, ugh, all that chaos, the flames. In that moment, I enjoyed it. The power, the violence, and I hate myself for feeling that way. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand.
We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. Wow. So you can stare at my fucking android all night? Hey, don't be like that. Come with us. You're awake now. Uh, finally. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Yeah. I need to block the street. You're free. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You don't have to obey them. You're free.
Hey. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. Jesus fucking Christ. Dispatches control 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of them. They're marching. What's going on? Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are people. Fuck the came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Follow me!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Thanks, Pat. 
password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. Tracy's from Eden Club. Were they headed to Jericho? Did they know how to get there? so you can help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning. Oh. 
Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch.
grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. It's extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear Why? for the Russian We've army. Go to adventure, dead. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Extreme violence of the machines, which seem to be determined to massacre humans. There 
There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effect. Now that you know she's one of us, Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood.
Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need him alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant.
quick. We've got to get out of here. in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. On your side. With us? Are you a human?
Gamma Squad out. Turn go! North. I'll join you later. Way out. We're safe, Alice. Stop. Get down. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Gotta go! They killed him. We found several hundred androids in the hull, sir. Take them away. Yes, sir. We can clear the ship in order the men to withdraw.
I was worried about you, Lieutenant. I came by to see if you're all right. I know I'm responsible for what happened, Lieutenant. I want you to know I'm sorry. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. For a while there, I believed in you, Connor. Thought you might restore my faith in the world. But you just showed me that androids are our creation. Creation in our own image. Selfish, ruthless, and brutal. You opened my eyes, Connor. Made me realize it's hopeless. Hank, I... Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. Get out of here! Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win or we will die trying. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! 
Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please? Over here, please? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! What's going to happen to CyberLife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Don't stay here. Buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Thank you. 
A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. I do, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Maybe. Be ready. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Today, November 11th, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. down and turn around with your hands in the air. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm on your side. I can shoot the leader of the Deviants and stop the revolution, but you have to let me. Put the gun down. Turn around. This is your last warning. I know you. You're Connor. The android from that hostage situation. I knew we'd meet again. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere.
You should have listened to me, Captain. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. He's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Jerry, check. Please don't move. Them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. And they outnumber us. We won't get through. We can't go back. It's victory or death now.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. risked your life to save us, Carl. ID, please. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Rose? the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. Rose. Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. And what about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you.
couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID? Is she all right? be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants, and I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? And now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit. And the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment. And they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as North was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the android rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. It's over, Alice. We're free. 
free. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now.
Marcus was our only hope. And you let him die. What will happen to our people now? Accessing the extras section.